is time for another story time with Miss K. It is a marvelous Monday, and I'm in the mood to read something funny. Honestly, I'm just in the mood to read something funny. So I hope you're in the mood too, because when I saw this book, that's instantly my mom was like, that's the book I'm going to pick for today. So today we're going to read the story, The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Have you ever played Rock, Paper, Scissors before? I hope you have, and if you don't, you might want to pause this video and learn a little bit about rock, paper, scissors, and how to play. But this is how that game began. So, let's look. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled the mysterious forest over by the tower swing, where he met a warrior who hung a rope, holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man! I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior! Rock versus Clothespin! Rock is Victoria! Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied, so he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious. Uh, I'm smushed, and yet smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of backyard still in search of a worthy foe. What does foe mean? Yes, enemy. Meanwhile, in the Emperor of Mom's home office, on a lonely and windswept desk mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set across Desk Mountain to find his match. There he met a large and square monster. I gobble you up the likes of you and spit them out day every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having, having beaten the fiercest fighter of Death Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix! Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix! Ah, foul wizard, he's blotted out the sun! Run for our lives, laddies! Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She, too, was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Scissors versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid waste of refrigerator freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen, breaded chicken. 
other. I have come from far reaches of kitchen to battle you, a bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaur. Bow before our child-pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur ch shaped chicken nuggets win? Hmm, what do you think? No, wait. No, they don't have scissors. It is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her, own, beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of two-car garage, rock and scissors came face to face. Hope you're wearing your battle pants, rock warrior. If by battle pants, you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you? Then yes, battle pants. Weird scissory one. Rock versus scissors! Who wins? I don't know. What if the story's different? Let's see. Let's see. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, but I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. My cat is enjoying this story. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. Who wins? Mm. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning a great night of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Who do you think it is? That's right, it's scissors. Who will win? Scissors versus paper. You beat me! And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had met, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that the joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing Augie, Rock, Paper, and Scissors. Pretty great book, isn't it? I love that the author took something that we don't even think about, and we're just like, yeah, put rock, paper, scissors, and turned it into a story, and a story that is super entertaining in my eyes, right? So I want to challenge you to think of something that is super common. It could be objects like the scissors, or the tape, or the trash can, and write a story about how those objects came to be, or how they're being used. For instance, you could write a story about a pencil, and the pencil could say, every time I get used, I get shorter, and it's really upsetting me and how he deals with that problem, right? That's just an example, and it's off the top of my head. But you can think of anything else. So, challenge yourself. Have some fun with it. I would love to hear your stories about objects you find around your house. So, what did you learn from this book? Now, I know that these objects, rock, paper, or scissors, were trying to find someone to beat them, which... It's kind of backwards, but if you look at it, they're just trying to succeed in their goal, right? And everyone has had a goal, and some of you may still have a goal right now, right? But if they had not gone through with their goal, and if they had given up, they wouldn't have been successful in the end, and we wouldn't have rock, paper, scissors. 
right, if we want to think about it that way. But you have to understand that almost 99% of success in this world began with failure, right? But failure is not an excuse to give up. Failure is, is a right to continue and try again, right? I'm going to tell you, I have tried to video this book probably three times, but I'm not going to give up because I have to succeed in what I want to do, and my goal is to do this for you. So remember, perfection is not normal, and perfection is boring. And pushing yourself to be successful in something that is difficult can end up being one of the most fun experiences you've ever had. Because in the end, you feel so good about yourself. So don't give up. But of course, I love you and I miss you. And this is really hard for me. Don't, don't think it's not. But being able to talk to you guys on class tag and Zoom with you guys is getting me through it. So thank you so much for being a part of that. And I'll be seeing you.